Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to show you this Garmin Dashcam Mini 2. Now let's go ahead, unbox this one and try it to this car. Okay, so first, this is the Garmin Dashcam Mini 2. Then together with this, I have to buy it separately, the Poralized filter. Then of course, I need to buy a memory card for the dash camera. So this is the main deal here. This is my very first time to open this one. So I'm going to show it to you guys. I don't, there you go. Woohoo! It's a mini camera, right? As you can see, there you go. Garmin, and then that's a button. I don't know if it's a power button. And then we have a supply here. This is the camera. Then we get to stick this one in the car. Uh, there's the SD camera and it, this one has a microphone. So you can, it's a pressable button. Then of course, that's it. So let's try to check what's inside the box as well. All right, so there you go. Of course, we have the manuals. Um, this is the power adapter. It has two USB ports. Then these are the cables. Uh, there are two sets of cables. Okay. How about the other one? I think the other one is probably... Yeah, it's a bit longer. So it, whatever fits the car. Then of course, we need to open up the filter. This is for bright day. Um, so that it will not be very bright into your camera. Polarized filter. So you can basically put it here. Remove that one if you want to. Well, for now, let's try to remove it and try it later on if we are going to put there. I'll just open up the SD card. So let's put it like... There you go. Hmm. Let's go ahead and test this one. I have a port here. I can put it here or maybe here, but this is far enough. So I'll just put it here. Okay, let's cut this the longer cable. I'll put it there. I'm just going to go ahead and power this one on. Like that. Then of course we need to turn on the car. Let's try to see if this is going to... So there are two lights, right? Mm. So we're on. We need to press this one for 8 seconds, right? 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Oh, there you go. It turned green. Okay, the next thing is... So it's red. Okay, yeah. If it blinks red, it means it's correct. Then for us to check this one, we need to set up the configuration in our... So Garmin, we need to uh, download the app to our phone, right? All right, here on my phone, um, for you, you could just go ahead and search for Garmin Drive. It's either on Play Store or iOS. So for me, it's on iOS. Now, you don't need to install this one. Um, if you don't want to view it in your phone, um, the only thing you're going to do is just copy the files from the um, SD card every time you need it. So for me, if you install the app, you can go ahead and directly uh, access the feed on your phone if you want to. Now, you just need to allow the Bluetooth because this is via Bluetooth. Then of course, you need to do all the agreements in the software. Then you need to add here your device. So there are a lot of series that they are going to do here, connect it, you, you see the instructions on the screen, which is very simple and understandable. And this will connect to your Bluetooth, okay? So pair, then what's next? Just wait up, get, okay. Then the next thing you need to do here is select an accessory. All right, you need to press that one. Okay, so just wait for a bit. It should show up. There you go, DC Mini 2. Okay, then 
they should be able to connect and then there you go the next thing that's going to happen here is you need to create your account all of these kinds of things email passwords all of those um, details then for me i already did it so i was able to connect already i don't want to show you my email and my passwords so here am i in the dashboard of dc mini 2 in the app so for me i just want to go ahead and go for that uh, live view so i need to allow that one and it's going to connect um, join join with the connection with that um, uh, Garmin just wait for a bit okay I'm fixing already the camera on the uh, windshield okay so this feed already is from the camera okay so that's how clear it is it's very cloudy here in our place right now, so there's no much of sunlight and you can see how clear it is. So, of course, the next thing we need to do is kind of fix all those cables so that uh, they are not going to be lying around. So just push it in in between the plastics in the windshield and it, it will be fitting inside there, right? Like what I'm doing right now. Okay, there you go. So I don't want the cable on top of my dashboard, so I went under and then kind of fixed this one so that it's not going to be messy, um, like tie it up, neat and clean. Okay. All right. There you go. Hula. Okay, you try to see that. That's the Garmin. Closer look. Oh, it's a little bit blurry. There you go. That's how it looks like. Looks really small, right? And then under. Okay. Good looking camera. Anyways, guys. So that's how you install the Garmin dash cam. And yeah. This is one of the highest rated uh, uh, cameras in Amazon. So... I think it will work out great.